Hey guys, what's up? Um, I'm Eli with Tetracade. We're doing a uh, TA Plays first look uh, of Fading Fairy Tales, and with me I have Jared. So, uh, let's nice, check it out. Nice so, save. You forgot to mention me, but you came back around to it. I, I like that. I it's obvious that you're here. <laughs> yeah. The Garth your to your Wayne. Cat starts making noise. The worst cat on the planet. No, best cat on the planet. Huh, kitty. See, I really, Good I know almost life. nothing about this game. Um, yeah, we previewed it, but Eric previewed it, and I, so we, we haven't played it ourselves yet, right? No. All right, so. I mean, I think it's kind of just like a castle defense game, with, uh, with a, uh, whatever style you want to call this, like a, like a grid -based uh, not battler. Braveheart. Battleheart. Mm. Is that that game? Yeah, Make but a it's, mobile game, Battle? It's grid-based, though. So, like, Battleheart, oh. yeah, but you could oh. uh, draw, All right. you know. This is more, more like real-time strategy. I can kind of get behind that, because, like, there are times in Battleheart where you were just, like, overwhelmed with what was going on on screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the line-drawing thing was really cool, but it could be... So many enemy, enemies you're trying to draw to and stuff, it could get a little crazy. Yeah, I think um, you, what's weird is that Candy Crush has kind of like taught me in a weird way that um, at least when playing mobile games, it's really nice to have a game that like only requires your attention and bursts. Yeah. So like, um, you know, I love Battleheart. Activate your skills. That's very cool. I should read this instead. Of <laughs> Once. No, I, I agree though. Like my my front page of my phone has a game of a folder of games that's just those kind of games where it's like can open it and play it and not really have to think about it or know I need to spend a bunch of time with it. I can you know just jump in and, and be playing something. So that's kind of like my go-to games folder, I guess you could call yeah. it. world is under attack, Jared. That's too bad. Shut up, you duck. <laughs> Who are we in attack by selecting a four? Alright. How would you like that finisher? That was cool, I guess. All right. It's kind of complicated for, um, like, the art style would lead you to believe this is super simple, but, like, between all the, uh, different stuff I'm doing here. All right. The king's business will have to wait. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we'll take this dude and this dude. The fake duck. <laughs> Nat Adak, is that his name? Yeah. <laughs> like, not. A Get it? I am Nat Adak. Oh, cool. I. I yeah. What does this thing mean at the bottom? I'm oh, I guess sure. it's uh, the timer of uh, who gets to attack next. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Wow, it's kind of cool, actually. It's very handy. Yeah, that's a neat thing. Alright, I need to get my duck online to uh, prepare some healing. Um, I like the, the timeline. I, I feel like there's a Final Fantasy game that has a kind of a similar thing to it. Yeah, you might be right. Final Fantasy 10, I want to say. 
Uh, take your pick of 11, the 12, dozens and on dozens of Final Fantasy games. Bound to be one of them, right? right? Why, why is my third slot closed? <clears throat> yeah, how do you unlock that? I don't know. I mean, you gotta get the past the all the tutorial. Every screen shows your turn order. All right, cool. Well, that answers that. I think that's really cool. I like the idea of the turn order. Like, cause you can kind of figure out, like, like, oh god, I need to like heal up this dude, cause like my turn's coming up, and mm -hmm. he is gonna take a bunch of damage. Let's just do this dude here. Yeah, see, so slash this dude. That's probably gonna kill him. Maybe not. Man, this guy's taking a lot of damage. I think we're doing all right. Maybe. I have no idea, but it's cool looking. I like it. Oh, this dude's not dead. Are you kidding me? I feel like this uh, this guy in the back here is uh, really messing me up. There goes all the points you just healed. There we Dead. go. Um, I'm gonna be safe and potion up. And then we will hotly pursue this guy. Alright, dude, let's go over here. Alright, wait for him to do his thing. And we'll attack like nobody's business. Dead. Oh. Not quite. Oh, okay. Peace. So yeah, I don't know. I guess that's uh kind of in that purchase junk we got here. All right, so you can uh, lots of different weapons. Buy a sickle. All right, cool. a brutal weapon. Oh, neat. Check out all the other dudes you got. Oh. <laughs> cost a thousand papers. How do we get more papers? Oh, grandmother's clothing. Oh, of course you can buy them from the store, maybe? Yeah, like yeah, so there's all sorts of different in-app purchase uh, options. I do you like the idea of like, like having like a starter kit like this, you know, where you get like a whole bunch of junk? Yeah. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it looks like you can buy a ton of pages for not much more money. So, um, yeah, I don't know. That's that's fading fairy tales. Um, you know, it seems like a pretty in-depth game. So, first look isn't really doing it justice, but um, it seems really neat. I'm definitely excited to play more of it. <laughs>